see right before may comes around we finally get news we may be out of the dry sea sooner than we think <laughs> What's going on, everybody? It's your boy X here, and I'm back with another video. Oh man, I've just woken up. <clears throat> it's early morning and stuff. I didn't eat breakfast, didn't do none of that stuff yet. But I wanted to make this video. Video talk about this Xbox and Bethesda showcase and stuff that they just announced. I think it was like last night. Um, yeah, and this is exciting because ever since February and stuff, it has been extremely, extremely dry. And, uh, and at, it got to a point where we was crawling. It's like a snail pace and stuff like that because there was no news and stuff. Unless you're one of those channels that, that talk about rumors or leaks and stuff, then cool. But but that but that's not me and stuff. No, I went to evidence confirmed, but... It's been real slow and stuff, and you know it's it's to be expected in like in the winter time, like the early spring and stuff. But now we're finally getting news and showcase our plan, and this just tells me that we don't really need E3 and stuff, you know, because these companies are showing that they have, you know, they get the same amount of money, you know, clout and stuff, attention. Just having their own show, so it's just like or, or their own event. So it's like, okay. So, uh, uh, so yeah, so we're gonna take a look at this and stuff and dive in. Just talk about what we might see and what did they, they talk about in this article and stuff like that. So if you guys do enjoy today's video, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, make sure you be channel so 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 much. And let's get right into this Xbox news. So it says here I'll put the article on the screen. So I basically said that uh, we're gonna announce, you know, the showcase uh, Sunday, June 12th. Again, it's like the kind of the same time slot as E3 that it used to be. Again, it sucks if I know E3 is trash now, but it still it still hurts me. So because E3 used to be loved by so many gamers, so many people before they went downhill and stuff. You know, I, I actually like looking forward to E3 and so stuff that. That was one of the that was one of the highlight starts of the summer because summer in gaming is dry, but no one complains about it. It's because we're all outside, we're going to the beach, we go on vacation and stuff like that. Yeah, right, 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 and stuff like that. But everybody complains about when it's dry, when it's winter time because we're in the house, it's cold, no one wants to go out and stuff. So it, it, it it's, it's kind of funny how that evens out and stuff but um uh, but yeah but e3 was like the, the super bowl for me and stuff in the summertime because what no when I, when it used to come around and stuff it, it used to be so fun and so thing but that's off the that that's off a, a topic and stuff i'm back to the xbox showcase but you know these companies now you know are showing that they only e3 to to stay on their own so basically, they said that they're going to uh, reveal some upcoming games um, that are in the works and stuff. A lot of people are saying Starfield. I know one of the, that that Starfield, uh, one of the Starfield um, developers didn't really like the engine and the game and stuff that, you know, how they're making it. And I think it turned a lot of people off. But again, you know, like, with the rumors and speculation and stuff like that, it could be up and up. Um, me personally, I don't really care about Starfield. Uh, I'm not looking forward to it. Uh, it just hasn't been on my radar because number one, we haven't seen nothing, no gameplay, no official gameplay, no anything like that. But a lot of people seem to be hyped about this game because you know, you know, because you know, it's it's Bethesda, but Bethesda, the Bethesda's recent games. Has it been that good and stuff? So you know, who knows? But that's 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 the biggest Xbox game that's coming out uh, at the end of this year and stuff. But it's kind of sketchy that we haven't seen out there. So probably we're gonna see some gameplay, some trailer. Maybe it might convince me. Who knows and stuff? But uh, probably the people said that might be shown 
but and they and, and they're gonna show some games for the up no no for, uh, for game pass and stuff because you know starfield all that's gonna release on game pass you know day one but what do i think and so that's what i need to show at this you know at this event and stuff um they need to show and this is what xbox has been lacking and stuff in my in, in my opinion and stuff and i'm not a fanboy of your playstation or xbox stuff like that uh i i have them both i played them both and stuff and so i i love them equally but one thing that xbox has been lacking on is their first party titles and stuff they haven't they haven't really showed nothing you know to convince people to say okay this is i want to play this on xbox and stuff I know with Halo, Forza, the, those are staples already and stuff. Some, something new. And they haven't really shown that and stuff. They brought all these studios, all these and and, and, and uh, all these publishers and stuff like that. And we haven't heard not, not a whisper and stuff. And, you know, I love Game Pass and stuff. But it's just like... I don't want to play old games on Game Pass. You know, I don't want to play old games. I, I I want to play games that are, you know, brand new and stuff. You know, I, I love the old games, but I'm older now. So I wanted to see the new and stuff like that. Games, games you know, continue to grow, look bigger and better and stuff. But, you know, Sony and stuff, we've seen that from them. But Xbox and stuff. It hasn't really shown nothing like you know they're very uh you know laid back just like just closed doors so hopefully i want to see you know a real lineup some games to look forward to for the end of this year maybe next year and stuff coming up you know something that can say okay you know i'm playing this day one and stuff you know can't wait to see it but yeah, so that's just only my, you know, you know, quick thoughts, stuff like that. I know it was a quick video, but, you know, I don't know when Sony's going to do their event. Maybe because if we, if we look back, Sony's event was, um, it usually be in like in September, August-ish. So that might be where Sony does their play, their, 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 uh, their, their PlayStation Showcase and stuff event. As if we know last year was great and stuff there those showcases are very successful for sony and stuff so maybe that's when we will see you know more and stuff like no the bigger and better games but you know all i want from you xbox is to see some first party titles and stuff some big games that take advantage of the xbox series x that that's that, that, that's all i want to see no remakes no remasters just brand new experience and stuff so hopefully that you know the, 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 this event pays off and uh yes yeah, so we can look forward to it so if you guys did enjoy today's video make sure you smash the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel make sure you i'll catch y'all so 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 much until next time guys stay safe take it easy peace oh.